Uh, hi, everyone. This is uh, Swati. I uh, work with Accenture as an associate um, manager uh, uh, and have been working with uh, Drupal since Drupal 6. So yeah, since quite some time. Uh, so today I will be presenting how we implemented uh, decoupled Drupal for one of our government clients. So yeah, let's start. So JSON API module really lays at the foundation level for uh, any decoupled environment where we are using JSON API as a specification. So uh, yeah, so this is uh, once you enable the JSON API module, you get the REST API for all the entities and uh, bundles which you have in your system. Uh, but really, JSON API is a no configuration module. So once you enable it, you really cannot configure anything. So we have a very useful uh, add-on module called JSON API Extra, which uh, provides an interface where we can uh, override JSON API module with the uh, it has configurations like we can rename a module, uh, rename a resource path, change the resource name. We can exclude few fields from the from any resource type and a set of uh, default enhancers which we can apply for our fields to customize and enhance the output uh, for our JSON API, right? So now let's uh, see what in real world scenario we have to do what on top of these two modules to uh, really make this decoupled environment work, right? So yeah. So in JSON API, everything is a resource and each resource is connected to another resource in form of relationships. So let's take an example to understand it more. So for example, we have a content type called article, which have some basic fields like ID and title. And on top of that, it has some entity references. So with a tag name associated with an article an image associated with an article and some uh, a paragraph called related books, which uh, then references to another content type called book. So this is a general structure which we have for any content type, right? So now, if our front-end application or any other application tries to access a content type uh, article, the resource page for a content type article, they will be getting the basic information for an article. They will be getting ID, they will be getting the title, but they will not be getting the uh, information of the relationships which will be added to that resource type. It will be saying that it has a relationship, but uh, the, you know, the tag name will, will not be provided, the image URL will not be provided. So, uh, but our front-end application really needs a flat response where if we, they are trying to access one uh, article resource page, they should get all the information which is related to that particular res uh, resource type, right? Uh, and they don't uh, really have to iteratively go inside each and every resource to get the you know response of each and every uh, uh, these resource types. To do that, we have a module called uh, JSON API Default. So once you enable that module, it provides a, a block in the JSON API interface where we can add uh, these uh, relationships. So here, what, what we are saying is we need to include these uh, information of these relationships in our resource type. So uh, I want the information for my tags. I want the information for my article uh, image. And then I want to in add information for my paragraph collection of books. Awesome, right? But the catch here is if, for example, we have a nested kind of a relationship where we have a content type called article, which is referencing to a paragraph collection of books, and then it is in uh, again referencing to another entity reference content type book. So it is a nested kind of a relationship where even if we add collection of books paragraph in the relationship, it will not be still providing the information of book name. To do that, we have to deepen inside the relationship and uh, go a step further and say we need the information of a paragraph, then dot and go inside deeper and say, okay, we also need the information of that book. Similarly, if you then need the relationship book image, which is, you know, a separate relationship for a book, you have to go deeper inside and say, okay, I need related books dot field book and then field book image. And this is how we go inside and get the information for all the relationships which we have in the system. So once we do that, we have this compiled response for all the relationships which, uh, which we have. And we have this one flat response for our resource type, right? So uh, yeah, 
Right. So but now we have uh, all the fields which we want for our system, which is there. But uh, we have these scenarios and situations where we need something which is uh, really not there, which is a computed information, something which we need to send to our JSON response, which is a uh, uh, not available or really computed, right? So how can we do that? How can we send something computed in a JSON response? So to do that, we have a hook called entity based fill info alter. So here I am adding a field called sticky because I'm probably sending some more sticky information with my content. And uh, then I'm using uh, my uh, class uh, of plugin field type, which is my custom field, which is responsible for evaluating and providing the value of uh, my field right so i here i'm just sending a simple string saying custom computed field value this is a value which uh, my class will be processing right so once i do that you will see that my field sticky which i created here will be added in my json response and with the value which i have set here will also be added to my uh, custom response and this is how we have been adding uh, some of the com custom computed values which needs to be added uh, for JSON response right so now we have uh, all the uh, resources we have uh, everything which is ready but there's one thing else which uh, really is needed sometimes which is how to enhance any existing uh, field so we have these scenarios where we have to enhance the output of an existing uh, field in JSON API response. We can do that by adding a custom field enhancer, which uh, uh, which can be added in this namesafe, uh, namespace of plugin JSON API field enhancer. Uh, so here I'm creating a, my st custom sticky uh, enhancer which uh, which uh, which is uh, you know which for that we have to extend a class called resource field enhancer base which is an abstract class provided by json api extra module so if there's a dependency if you are adding uh, any uh, field enhancer right so here i'm adding my uh, custom it is a label which is uh, added and uh, then we have to override two methods do undo transform and do transform methods these two methods are responsible for uh, pro uh, you know providing what these en what uh, an enhancer would be doing once it is applied on um, any field right so uh, do undo transform is a method which is responsible that once you are applying an enhancer what needs to be done so i'm here i'm just changing the value of my field to something custom right so i will be applying that so my field was field sticky i will be applying that uh, to my enhancer so once i add my field enhancer this is a list of all the default enhancers which are present in the uh, in our system once we enable json api extra module and uh, my enhancer which i added here adding some more info to sticky is added here with along with the other enhancers which is added so once i add that i'm applying it to field sticky and uh, once i apply that my value is now changed to the new string value which i computed here and if i try to if i remove the enhancer it will be reverted back to the original value uh, which were uh, which was set there which was like on a custom computed field value and that uh, needs to be implemented in the method do transform i know the names are a little uh, mix up but it is this is how it works so yeah so this is how we can implement any default enhancer and apply on top of our uh, fields to enhance the output for any uh, field in json api response great so uh, once we have the set of uh, data ready the next uh, and very important concept in json api is that we have to expose our images uh, as it will be accessed by different platform, different channels, we need to provide images to uh, different platforms. So we will be uploading images at CMS level, and these image styles will then be used across by different platforms. So how can we actually add these image styles in a JSON API response and expose to uh, any other application? So for doing that, we have two modules called consumer and consumer image style. So here I'm registering a default consumer which uh, is using two image styles, medium and thumbnail. So now what will happen is all my resources will be uh, using and will be uh, exposed in these two image styles, right? But if there is a requirement that at a field level, we want to modify it, we want to uh, customize it, we can do that. So um, 
from the list of enhancers, once I enable this module consumer image style, a new in field enhancer is added, which is called uh, image style. So it can be used to reduce uh, or refine the image styles that can be applied at a image or at a field level. Uh, the catch here is uh, uh, even if there is a large uh, image style, you cannot select it because at the consumer level, you have not added it. So you cannot increase uh, the number of uh, image styles at a field level. However, you can refine and reduce the number of image styles um, uh, at a field level, right? So this is how we can uh, add image style for our images in JSON API response. And uh, this will be the, this is you know, the output which we get, right? Uh, so now we have uh, everything which is uh, needed for exposing and setting up our JSON response. But last not the least, how our front-end application will actually be using uh, this JSON API response. Front-end application really uses URL aliases uh, rather than, uh, you know, any other NID or, you know, any other UID for accessing our application. So we have this module called decouple router, which sits between uh, our decoupled front end and decoupled Drupal. And this is the one endpoint which our front end will ac be accessing. So it will always be accessing this translate path API and talking between both of them. So for example, my front end uh, wants an uh, request for about us page. It will be uh, going to my uh, uh, decoupled router. It will be processing the response and sending it back uh, the endpoint uh, response for my uh, front end to uh, use and access it. Right, so it is. Uh, it simplifies the process, and uh, uh, the it you know uh, now the workload is uh, shifted from our front end, so everything is streamlined. Right, so these are some of the building blocks which um, which we can set up, uh, and the ecosystem for JSON API is increasing day by day, which is uh, really great. So you can explore their new set of modules, which uh, you should see, and you know it is great to explore them. So yeah, so this is what I want to share for uh, the couple Drupal environment. So yeah, thanks uh, to thanks listening to me and uh, let me know if you have any questions. You can reach me at uh, swati.e.gar at accenture.com. So yeah.